I've been developing uh, for some time and like I've, gained few, I've, like I've been talking with a few professionals on like what is the best way of doing it. So yeah, first one is the uh, language selection. Language selection is uh, when you're developing for a, uh, like when you're choosing a particular language for developing a backend. So you need to consider about the what language are you going to implement. For example, if you're developing for the cloud, I think it's better if you stick with a uh, interpretive language such as Python, which is open source. And if you have any uh, issues regarding it, you can actually uh, like you can ask a community about it, and if you're making a enterprise kind of application, it's better like which has a security a security requirement as well, and legacy uh, and legacy requirements. Compare languages better, and uh, it's better to research on the language which you work on because sometimes what generally happens is 80% of your uh, task is actually been done somewhere somewhere on the inter internet, and and like it's better you could uh, get a license about it and like start uh, customizing on for yourself. Uh, and uh, like and like uh, when you, and like I forgot to add this when you choose a language it's it's not just the language you work on you're actually choosing a particular community community on it and uh, yeah second one is data persistence data persistence is whether like uh, how how do you want to manage the data if you're uh, working if you want if you're choosing SaaS it's better uh, it's better when you have a cloud environment and like you require scaling and if you're using a self uh, hosted uh, self hosted in cloud uh, it's like required for uh, uh, fast, fast deployments, and for hardware, it's like for uh, if you, you can customize all the physical physical aspects. But the only thing with the hardware is like it's uh, like most of it's labor intensive, and it's uh, like it takes a lot of cost. And uh, if uh, if you have a data where which requires like where the data is really a concern, and it's better to stick with acid properties, which is atom which consists of atomicity uh, features, and uh, it's better to use MySQLs. Uh, a database, and if you require, if you want to require data, which is which you want to expand horizontally, uh, it's better to use uh, CAP, the, which is uh, CAP theorem, which is like uh, which is advanced than ACID, for the, which is a NoSQL database, and uh, there is like in NoSQL they have document storage, key value pairs, and graph database. Like document storage, you have file systems like MongoDBs, and key value pairs, you have uh, a Cassandra, which is it's also good and graph database like if you if you require a database which is which you do, which you require which doesn't require index free lookups a graph database is a, it's a good choice which for example neo4j is a, one of the graph database um, yeah, agile development. This agile development is like iterative process of development on how you want to implement features and uh, and roll out new revisions and uh, try to write a new uh, try to write an automated test case so that you could know where you where uh, where is the problem so you can actually fix it fix it up. And uh, and like it's better to know uh, where something is broken at the earliest stage itself than getting at the when when like when it if it propagates further. Uh, yeah, premature optimization. It's one of the concern where people try to optimize very early. Uh, like people, yeah. For example, like if uh, they consider the use case for million user, but they don't have a single user yet. So don't try to do that. And pre yeah, premature uh, refactoring is a huge mistake. And yeah, peer review like. If you if you're writing a code and like if if you if your if your friend or a, a, any pro programmer comes and looks into your code and gives a suggestion, it would be really good. And uh, pair program is another approach where two people come together and one of one of them codes and one of them reviews. And like it's actually a good way where one one can vet for, for the other's code. And like yeah, if you're a freelancer, it's better to say no. You should know when to say no. Like not even do money and like research on your time and the cost of making a project. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.